All right. So today we talked about how to use a triple beam balance and uh, the steps for that. So I'm just going to review that really quick with you and show you uh, just right here what to do. Uh, the first thing we want to do is make sure all of our weights over here are all the way over uh, to the left. So they all should say zero on them. Make sure they're in those little notches. Uh, the next thing we want to do is look at these two lines over here. Um, there's one by the zero. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah. There you go. And one on the uh, arm of the balance right there. We want those to line up perfectly. So to do that, and they, if you grab the balance, they might already be lined up. That's, that's great. Then you can start using it. But if not, we want to use this knob right here, the zero adjust knob, to uh, adjust the balance so it lines up perfect on zero. If you turn it counterclockwise, the arm will move up. If you turn it clockwise, the arm will move down. So ours right now, let's take a look. Mm, looks pretty good, but not, not perfect. So I'm going to turn it clockwise just a little bit. Sorry, counterclockwise. Um, I need it to move up a little bit. And ooh, that's looking, that's looking pretty good. So uh, I think we're good. Now we can put our object that we want to find the mass of on uh, on our balance. I'm going to use an Oreo cookie mug. Yeah, you're all done. No, no, you're not done. Um, start off. So we need to start moving these weights around until our balance is just perfect. Um, I'm going to start off with my hundred gram weight and start moving it. Now, very important. Every time you move it with this 100 gram weight, make sure it falls into that little notch. Don't leave it in between. Uh, even though you're like, oh cool, I, I got it balanced, it's right in between the 100 and the 200. It's not accurate because you don't know where exactly it is in between. That's why we have the 10 gram, that's why we have the 1 gram. Um, and we'll use those later. So you're going to keep moving it over, let it fall into each notch, okay. Oh, it fell. Perfect. So what you see, that says 400 grams right there. So you know it's not 400 grams. Okay, it's less than that. So pull it back to the 300, let it sit in the notch, and it goes back up. Now we're going to do the same thing with our 10 gram weight in the back here. Again, make sure it falls into the notch. Oh, we're getting close, I think. And oh, I think this is going to be it. Move it one more. All right, so the arm fell all the way down, so we need to bring that back one notch. There we go. The last one, the one gram weight. And this one, uh, there are no notches. You're just going to slide this bad boy over until, whoop, 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 until the arm is perfectly balanced, until these lines, again, match up perfectly. So let's see. Oh, need to go back a little bit. Sometimes I like to use a pencil uh, to do this because my fingers are kind of fat and they, uh, they get in the way. A uh, pencil allows me to be more precise. So, something, something, something. Almost there. Ooh, we got it. Maybe. A little more. All right, now let's read this thing. So the lines are matched up. How do we read it? Okay, well, what, where, where do I start? You start with a 100 gram weight. Where is it at? Ours is at the 300. So you start off writing 3 for 300. The next, you look at the 10 gram weight. Ours is at 70. Okay, so our object is 370 something grams. So write, after the 3, write 7. And then we look at our 1 gram weight. Ours is at 5.4. So we would write our whole mass as 375.4. And here's the thing. Make sure you write grams afterwards so I know what you're talking about. So I know you don't mean kilograms. So I, don't, I know you don't mean milligrams. Always put a little G for grams. And you're done. That's it.